Hello everyone. Hope everybody's good. Been a while. We all been busy around here. You know, daily drying thing. Just uh, checking in. The 1277, or it was going to be the 1677, just took a big leap in the change category. <laughs> We're going to. Uh, try to take and make it original with another one that I found and I've got uh, you know it'll make it original is what I'm trying to say uh, we picked it up for a little bit of nothing the frames busted up on that one you know that one there um, you can see I don't know I've got this little deal here it's supposed to do this camera I don't know if it does or not we'll find out I think it does it it's just me but you know, zoomed in and out, but anyway. Ah, maybe that's, yeah. Oh, okay, but anyway. There's the bracing and stuff on it. It's all busted up. The guy was pretty hard on it. But, you know, hey, it was one of them deals the price was right. Now I can hear that tripod making noise. <laughs> well, anyway. Like I said, you guys just have to bear with me. I don't know how bad this will be, but this is what we're going to get, so this is how it's going to be. Anyway, that's what we're going to do with that. Decided to make it original. Why not, right? I mean, you know, that frame's bad, and it's got everything there that was correct on this year, so works out one year apart. That works out really good. Uh, it's cold day in Indiana, let me tell you. Uh, got granddad's old stove going. A warm morning there. Got the pipe through and everything. It's all stainless outside. Man, let me tell you, that stuff's expensive. Woo! That kind of blew my mind. But anyway, yeah, old man footed the bill on that. That was a good thing. I mean, expensive, like 90 foot for three foot, up, or $90 for three foot. It was outrageous, man. But anyway, we got heat now. See, I'm trying, there's a thermometer over there, so like I said, I'm really kind of just trying this camera out. Trying to see if I can, oh, it's supposed to be, yeah, you can see it, maybe. Change right in the way, ain't it? It's 60. Been in here about an hour. Works out real good. Still got a lot of insulating to do. Picked up that Sears. Um, runs like a dream, man. Got an owning on it. It's an SS16. I think it's a 73, if I remember right. Had carb issues and tanks full of gunk. You know, I mean nasty gunk yeah see it which there's a little additive in there too you know just to break it up but anyway we got that going on I ran it on another tank you know to get it going fuel pump was kind of assed up in it got that all worked out and taken care of but I believe it's going to make a nice tractor um, runs like a dream man no rattles knocks bangs smoke nothing I mean couldn't believe it you know for the price but anyway that was another one the old man come dragging in got that taken care of then if you see over there there's that noise on the tripod again bear with me man I'll get this figured out eventually you know it's so hard to do it by yourself you know you can't hardly do it by yourself actually I mean it's hard to run the camera and do everything I don't know how people do such a good job as they got you know now I've got this high dollar camera and can't operate the damn thing of course, I'm sure there's people out there that share my troubles, and other pro people probably think I'm retarded, but I'll tell you, one of these days, <laughs> I think I'd just rather have a nice, little, simple, on and off camera, but anyway, maybe we'll get her figured out, so bear with me, but anyway, right there, you can see it, the lift holding the engine there, it's a thing that they put sick people in bed with, you know, I think it's like 300 pounds is the maximum on it, but notice how the legs are, you see the casters? Man, it's so nice to get like on top of it. I mean, I took the motor off of this thing, whoa, off of this, off the 1277, off of here, and put over there on the shelf. And man, it was just so handy. I mean, who would have ever known? I think like 15 bucks give for it or something. Wasn't very much. But man, it just works like a dream. Got a little screw on it. You know, it's like a screw jack up and down. Man, it just, I mean, tops, man. But anyway, got that. Let's see, what else? Um, I got, let's see, we got a generator. 
It had a eight horse to come see on it. Runs like a dream. It didn't when we got it, of course, but got it at a sale real cheap. Um, it worked out really good, guys. It, it did. I'll try to move over here. I, the idea was I was going to try to stand here, and I was going to try to get this whole video like this, but I don't know. It might be asking for too much for me. But yeah, right there, um, it's a 5,000. Man, it got 220 on it and everything, and it actually works. I couldn't believe it. I've, you know, most of them power plants out, and then you got the tapered shaft to deal with, can't do nothing with it. You know, unless you have it turned, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, that thing worked out, charged like a dream, does everything like it ought to, you know. So, that tickled me. Um, let's see. I think, I don't think you've seen the Raider. The Raider 12 there. We'll get it going. Uh, it runs and everything. Uh, let's see. Need the throttle cable. Need the throttle cable. And the deck was a little tight on it for some reason. You know, there, there must be a bearing or something there a little tight on it, but um it, it should clean up and do all right you know what i mean it, it'll be a nice old tractor um a lot of ums in this one huh but anyway i think that's about all i've got for you um just showing you know some of the projects that we're going to try to be attempting here we got some uh, rings and stuff coming oh we got a rebuild kit coming oh you got to see this let's see here bear with me here a minute I'll take it, raise this up. We're going to have to do a little work on this dude before we do too much. But I want everybody to see this. Let's see if we can get it in there. Let's see, push my little deal here. Whoa, easy girl, easy. Okay, here. Now, you notice anything missing? <laughs> but check this out. You see that? Not a mark in that cylinder. You can't see it real good. The light ain't real good. I'm going to have to put some uh, brighter bulbs in here. But Yeah, it took the whole top of the piston. The oil ring's completely gone down in the motor. But yet, it didn't scar the cylinder. Imagine that. Just peeled the top of her off. I thought that was pretty neat. I mean, you know, it'll still make a good rebuild. And it marked out standard. So, no egg shaping or nothing. Couldn't believe it. So that'll look nice over there, and that'll make that tractor correct, you know. Then I might invest in some decals and stuff since we're going to try to get it back factory. She should be looking pretty good about spring. Won't take long. We've got all the parts coming for that. Um, let's see. I'll pick up the tripod and move it again. Let's see. I think we pretty much got everything covered here. That's about it. Nice little short, sweet deal. We did get some... Uh, parts cheap the old man he comes dragging in he says here look at here could this, can you use this I thought man can I ever five bucks ain't that something and look at this Kohler 8 horsepower five bucks set of rings and look at this five bucks that is a whole gasket kit for a 12 or 14 or 10 I think pretty sure this one here is for an 8 5 bucks ooh Kohler even you know that's probably 30 bucks man I know they are because we bought several there hangs some $30 ones there on the wall and they ain't even name brand so <laughs> that gives you an idea well, let's see, that's about all the deals I got, I think. We pretty much got everything else going the way we want, I think. Um, all the painting, I wish I could show you a nice bright red paint job, but it, it hasn't worked out because of the weather. Um, you know the, how that crap goes. It just hasn't been warm enough. We're going to try to get a tent, maybe, and try to get things in order that way. You know, and what I mean is try to make some kind of place where we could have a little paint booth or something to that effect inside in the heat where it wouldn't get all over the shop because man it does I mean I, I you know overspraying what have you 
Uh, got the D200, got the motor on. Um, we got the machine part, you know, to link it up. You know, we had it all made up and everything. That worked out pretty good. Then they had done us pretty good on that. Got an adapter that's actually for this motor to that pump. So that'll work out good. That'll be coming up. You know, that one there we're going to definitely do something with. So, which, I mean, we do something with all of them, but I mean, that one there is going to be the baby, I think. So, it'll probably be the last one. <laughs> you know how that goes. Uh, the last one to be done. Um, that's about it on that. Um, just been busy, man. Really, you know, that's the thing. Just been busy. And, you know, haven't had a lot of time out here. Um, things are going like they are. I mean, you know, just don't have enough time is what I'm trying to say. But winter time's here, and that's when we got time, so we're going to take advantage of that all we can. So you'll probably be seeing a little more of me. <clears throat> I said that last time, didn't do it, but, well, you know how it is, having to grind. Hard to turn down money. You know how it is, you know what I mean? You always got a bill to pay, right? For sure. Um... I think I pieced together a plow finally. I did get a few pieces, you know. <laughs> They're definitely pieces, but. Series two point plow. I think once we get it all together, you know, I'll have to do some fab work, but that's no big deal. That'll all come together pretty good. Um, may put it on that Sears. I don't know. It ought to drag it all right. It is a nice running tractor for a Sears. Nothing against Sears. Just, you know, that owning runs good, man. I mean, I'll get it going. I'll probably have it going today. That's why everything's sitting around it, you know. I don't leave it like that. That's just from this morning. I was flushing it. I was putting a little air in it and then putting a jug up there and running a little through and then run some cleaner through and Man, that tank is a bear to get off of there. I'm telling you what, you got to strip the whole tractor practically, best I can tell. Really not wanting to do that, you know. It's uh, just not going to be a fun operation. <laughs> well, anyways, I think that's about it, guys. Um, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I'm uh, going to give a shout out to Ian, UK Wheel Horse Bloke. He's over there having too much fun, I think. Doggone it. Got new tires and everything. Won't even show them to us. See how he is? <laughs> I'm sure he will in time. Hey, Ian, just yanking your chain, buddy. I'd like to hear about that Ben Axel, man. That's, that don't sound very good. I wouldn't have thought you could have done that. But you, I don't know. You know, I don't know. I thought they was pretty tough. Well, I mean, obviously they are, but you know what I'm saying? I, that's kind of surprising to me. Might be some to do with the weight, maybe the distribution or something, or the way it turns, maybe. I don't know, but I know you'll figure it out. I enjoy watching it, so hurry up. Not really, but <laughs> I am pretty interested in seeing what you got going on. I'd like to see it with them meat eaters on there. See what it looks like with the tires. But anyways, guys, that's about it, really. You know? Subscribe if you like it, and, you know, leave a video, whatever you want to do, man. That'd be fine with me. You guys have a good one. Susie, where are you at? Susie, come here and make your appearance. We'll sign off with the rock star. Come here. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Far from a rock star. Huh? You guys take care now. A little crazy said it. Be good.